This YouTubers, you all wanted to see how this machine really works and what makes it operate. Let me if I can show you. So this thing, if you look in front of me, you'll see this string line. What this machine does is these sensors right here, front or at the back, there's the front up there. So they follow this string. You watch. I move this sensor, watch that leg behind it. I don't know if you can see that or not. I move this sensor, that leg steers, you can see it turning. So this, this it steers that machine along. In this one, this goes right here. I make the machine go up and down. I don't know if you see it moving up and down as I move that. Really sensitive. If you move the string, even if you move the string a little bit, you see that fucking machine just jump. So anyway, that's how this machine pours. It's a pour. It's a pour a curb and gutter. That shape, like this stuff back here that I poured, it'll pour it as straight as that string is. And it's just going to follow that string along. If you look, see how the grade, I don't know if you can see the grade, how the track is coming out of this hole right here. It's got a big hump of dirt gravel. Machine has sensors up on the machine that'll keep it level. These sensors here keep it make it follow the string. So those legs, these tracks are going to adjust as the machine pours along. Those tracks will go up and down. On those tubes right there go up and down and the steers. I'll move the string, you can see it go up and down here, it's gonna go up. I ain't gonna do shit, but it's right by a wand. You can hear it moving. The machine is making real fine adjustments. Now watch it. You can watch it go up that little, there's a mound of dirt right in front of the track that it's gonna start climbing up. And as you'll see, the machine doesn't move, but the tracks do. I just kind of got it going nice and slow because nobody's on it. But as it goes, if you see that track that's far over here, this track, that's the one that keeps the machine level. That goes up and down and it keeps the machine nice and level. Self-leveling device kind of built into the machine. And then this one that back here, this track here, it's the one that's following the string. It's kind of a crazy setup. Pretty, pretty ingenious. I don't know if you can see that track starting to climb that pile of gravel. If you watch that tube, will start just going up. Moving really slow. That's how this thing works. The first thing we do is we come along, we set this string line here. The second thing that happens is the grade guys come in and grade the job. As you can see, they did a horrible job at that here. I'll be in there with a shovel throwing all that fucking gravel into the hole where the water is at. As you see, that track's climbing up out of that hole. Get up on top of that pile of gravel. That 
curb mold and stand perfectly level, even, steady to the string. You look, you can see that far track over there on the far side doing the same thing. It just crawls along, stays nice and even. Just wanted to give you a Oh, a quick view of what was shaking down. I know a lot of you guys asked me, how does that thing actually work? That's how it actually works. It just follows that string. The concrete actually goes in the front of the machine. You get a truck that drives along in front of us. Goes into that conveyor. Goes up the conveyor into the hopper on the mold. Just right inside that framework there. And then, uh, concrete goes in here. Come up here, come down that. Through, gets vibrated. Got vibrators. Gets shit out the back looking like a turd. He crumbles down here in Jamaica City, huh? And that's, uh, that's it. I don't know what else to tell you besides getting you on the job, showing you how to do it, paying you a fat fucking paycheck so you can make some money. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this little relapse. Alright, I gotta do something. Talk to you later.